All right, what's up, everybody? It is I, Jerry the Samurai, coming back at you with another mother video we have another episode of check me out where i talk about my frustrations or fascinations with life but before we get into the nonsense go ahead and subscribe to the channel every thousand subs i will be giving out a pair of shoes subscribe to the channel greatly appreciated y'all make sure y'all go ahead and like the video as well and comment down below and let me know if y'all agree with what I'm about to talk about in this video because I'm, I'm, I'm just absolutely over it. I'm over it. The topic for this specific video here. <sighs> if you watched the video that I dropped of Gas or Pass, there was a specific shoe that I was talking about, the Nike Mac attack. I was pretty adamant on, it may have been hyped up because of Travis Scott. Let me go ahead and tell you this. It got overhyped, okay? I wanna go ahead and talk about you hype beasts. You hype beasts are part of the reason why I stopped making sneaker content in the first place. It released on June 23rd. It didn't drop on sneakers, so that kind of threw me off. Went ahead, took a look to see where the shoe was going to be releasing. I thought, just based on the response I got from me expressing how I felt about the Mac attack, that people were not with the shoe. I'm getting old. This shoe is ass. Don't even worry about it. You're going to get your pair because ain't nobody going for it. I'm like, hey, maybe we're going to be good. So I did not put in for any raffles. I merely went for the first come first serve sites. And there were about four or five sites that I was aware of. And it was going to be releasing at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The first site that I went to was Bodega. I'm familiar with this site. I've purchased from them before. That's the first website that I went to out of the sites that I seen that were doing first come first serve. I go on there immediately at 10 o'clock. Go on there, they have an Apple Pay. I go and put my size and I'm in line. It's like 10.01 and I'm, all, I'm in the line. 10.05 comes around, guess what notification I got? The size sold out. Why do y'all do this? Any shoe that gets touched by this man, Travis Scott, is grits, bro. Don't even try to go for it on release day because it's just going to cop it. Even if it's a shoe that's going to be a brick, they going to cop it. Because the shoe technically is not reselling for anything, but it's the principle, bro. I want my shit. I don't want to pay any extra shoe retails for $120. And now I got to pay like $50 to $75 over box. For what? For what, bro? Why do I have to pay that much over box for this shoe? Just because Travis Scott touched it. Y'all hype beasts make me sick man y'all hype beats really make me sick i cannot cop any shoe because of y'all man y'all hype beats need to stop that shit man cop something because you like it and i get it there's resellers out there that gotta make their bread or what the f ever bro just let me get my damn pair you can't win this is a shoe that i literally thought nobody was gonna think about man but i i i guess i thought wrong man i had to f make this video about y'all motherfucking hype beast and i know it's not gonna be the last video i'm gonna make about y'all hype beast because all y'all want to do is look cool instead of being your self and wearing shit because you like it not because everybody else likes it or because somebody else is wearing it i'm gonna have to go straight old head on y'all man just got monarchs or some shit it's like i cannot buy anything even when i want to spend my money on a pair of shoes i can't even do it because of y'all hype beasts y'all hype beasts make me sick man that's it